Okay, today I wanted to talk about the quote-unquote meta, because that's what seems to be a lot. Like, everyone says that. Also, I wanted to talk about how you may be able to improve in your Crucible gameplay. Now, the meta will fit in with the Crucible gameplay, because that's what every single fucking YouTuber on YouTube who does Destiny says you need to follow. When I think you don't really need to follow the meta, if you're good with a certain weapon, it shouldn't matter if it's the meta or not. It should matter whether or not you're performing well enough to the point where you feel confident in going into a crucible match with said weapon. Like right now, the first curse which I'm using is considered not the meta. But I love it, and I think I do quite well with it. But other people will say, no, it's not a good weapon. You should be using the, the, you should be using Doctrine of Passing. Or whatever other fucking little shit things they use. Uh, what's something there? A lot of primaries everyone seems to be using this fucking universe for a month. Good thing that thing got nerfed. But, uh, yeah, with the meta and now uh, you can, can improve, I think... Okay, every, every single YouTuber is saying, if you want to improve, you gotta use the meta and whatnot. When really, you don't need to use the meta. They're saying it like, oh, why would you handicap yourself? It's not a handicap. That's like saying, why would you... You wouldn't... If you wanted to get muscle, you wouldn't... You wouldn't try to lift the, the weakest, like, little tiny weight you can get. You're gonna go for bigger weights and bigger weights. Now, you could start off using the meta. I know I used whatever I could get until I learned how to play Crucible well enough. And then I started just using whatever I felt like I wanted to use. Like, I, everyone's happy when they go to the Crucible and they get their little longbow synthesis. Or I was happy when I got the Grim Citizen. I love the slow rate fire auto rifles, which aren't considered the meta, which I, I don't really care. I don't know if they're considered good or not, but I love them. And they're not considered in the meta. Okay. But another thing you should try to do if you want to improve. You don't have to do this. I mean, you can improve whatever way you want. You just play a lot. If you want to get good with a weapon, force yourself to play with it through matches. That's what I did with the Nola and Beyond. I suck butt at sniping. Like a lot. But when I said no I need to learn how to do this I want to be able to play trials and I want to be able to snipe if I need it so I just said you know what fuck it I'm just gonna force myself to use no land beyond and I did and I I did pretty pretty good now when I play trials I can I can confidently snipe none of that like um, I might be able to help you guys, but, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to kill anybody. But just don't be relying on me all too much, because I don't know if I can do it. I'm not like that anymore. Now I'm like, Hello, everybody. Follow me. I'll lead us to victory, my friends. <laughs> oh, there's a headshot. Yeah, and I'll say stuff like that. Which is pretty darn fun to do, guys. So if you want to... Oh yeah, speaking of fun, that's my other tip. Don't be a salty little piece of butt cheek. And just play the goddamn game. All these guys are so suck, like it's so sweaty. They play with Universal Remote. They'll play with Longbow Synthesis. They'll play with all the best weapons. And then, when they die, they're salty. They're like a block of salt in living form. Just because they died, they'll blame it on lag. They'll blame it on you using overpowered weapons. They'll blame it on your class. They'll blame it on your subclass. They'll blame it on your abilities. They'll blame it on your gun. They'll blame it on your fucking life. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to say. I hope you guys can take something from that mess of whatever shit I was saying. And I'll see you guys next time. Next time. Yeah.